Russia and Belarus hold joint military exercises as diplomatic talks ramped back up. Snow is melting in Ukraine. That could be a problem for the Russians. CNN. Russia and Belarus began 10 days of joint military exercises. Drills Thursday amid the ongoing diplomatic effort to defuse the crisis over fears that the Kremlin is planning an incursion into Ukrainian territory. The military drills called Allied Revolts 2022 began in Belarus and will end February 20. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced Thursday in a statement. The purpose of the ex- exercise is to work out the task of su- suppressing and repelling ex- external, external aggression while conducting a defensive operation, con- countering terrorism and protecting the interests of the Union State, the statement said. Moscow's deployment into Belarus is believed to be its biggest there since the Cold War, with an expected 30,000 combat troops, Spetsnaz Special Operation Forces, fighter jets including Su-35, Iskander dual capable missiles, and three, one, three set, uh, S-400 air defense systems. NATO Secretary General Jens Jens Stoltenberg said thir- last Thursday. The United States has also expressed concerns about the build-up of Russian troops in Belarus, a close ally of Russia. Russia has repeatedly denied it. it is planning to attack Ukraine, despite Moscow's massive troop build-up in the region. The Kremlin is believed to be to have assembled 30-70% of the military personnel and weapons on Ukraine's borders that Russia would need for a full-scale invasion, according to two U.S. officials familiar with Washington's latest intelligence estimate. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said Wednesday that the drills have scaled up as both Russia and Belarus face unprecedented threats from NATO. The drills are held regularly, Peskov said in a conference call with the reporters. Yes, the scale may be larger than before, but the situation is much more tense now. Press the further on the purpose and political meaning of these exercises, Peskov said those countries feel a growing threat from NATO. Yes, we can say so, Peskov said. Both Russia and Belarus are facing unprecedented threat, the nature and concentration of which, unfortunately, are now much higher and much more dangerous than before. As for 400 and Pantasir S air defense systems arrived ahead of the Russian Belarusian military drills, which began Thursday. BMP 2 amphibious, amphibious infantry fighting vehicles are shown ahead of the Allies' Resolve 2022 joint military drills by Belarusian and Russian troops. While Russian President Vladimir Putin is not scheduled to attend the drills, General Belari Gelashimov, the chief of the Russian general staff, arrived in Belarus ahead of the joint exercises, the Russian state news agency TASS reported Wednesday. During the exercise, measures will be taken to strengthen the protection of the state border to prevent the penetration of the armed groups of militants, block the channels for the delivery of weapons and ammunition, search, block, destroy illegal armed formations and sabotage and reconnaissance, reconnaissance groups of the mock enemy, the Russian Ministry of Defense statement said. The drills are taking place around Belarus, including Domamovsky, Gochiski, Obuzlesnovsky, Brest, Ospovichiski, 
training ground, while the airfields of uh, Baranovich, Lunite, Luninet, Lida, and Machulisti are, are also involved in Roach. Satellite images taken Saturday by US-based technology company Moxer showed the camps are being established close to the Belarusian border with Ukraine, hundreds of miles from where the exercises are taking place. Ukraine's, Ukraine's Foreign Affairs Ministry protested on Thursday about what it said was the blockage of parts of the Big Black Sea and Sea of Azov. Army, the Russian naval drills scheduled to take place between February 14 and 19. Russia denied it, the claim that its warships are blocking commercial shipping route, asked to comment. Peskov said Thursday, or military maneuvers and the movement of Russia ships in the water area of the Black Sea are carried out in strict accordance with the international regulations of the maritime law. More diplomacy. The exercises begin the same day diplomatic talks to ease the crisis are expected to take place. French Foreign Minister Yen Yves Le Drain said in an interview Thursday that the further round of talks between the countries in the so-called Normandy format would be a good sign. The Normandy format is a four-way conversation between representatives from R Ukraine, Russia, and Germany and France that has been trying to block broker peace, peace in eastern Ukraine since 2014. Talk has turned to the Minsk agree agreement, which was ham hammered out during talks in 2015, but never fully implemented as a possible way out of the current crisis. Advisors from all four countries are due to meet Thursday in Berlin to discuss tensions around Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Boris Johnson met NATO's Stoltenberg in Brussels on Thursday where the UK Prime Minister set out his plan to bolster UK military commitment to NATO by sending warships to Eastern Europe and increase the number of British fighter jets sta stationed in Southeast South Europe to provide re reassurance and support to allies in the region, according to Downing Street. Today, I have agreed with the Secretary General a package of support to, support to strengthen further our collective secretary, security, sending troops, planes, and ships to defend NATO from north to south, Johnson said during a press conference. Johnson is due to travel to Poland the same day to meet the President and Andriyev Duda and Prime Minister Matuis Morawiecki, Downing Street said Wednesday. UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss met in Moscow with her counterpart, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who gave a gloomy assessment of their talks. Lavrov called it a di dialogue of the deaf saying at the joint press conference Russia was considering withdrawing non-essential diplomatic personnel from Ukraine. We are listening, but we can't hear each other, he added. Our most detailed explanations fell on unprepared ground. Trust, trust in turn argued Russia to take a diplomatic route to avoid the war over Ukraine. There is no doubt that the stationing of the over 100,000 troops on the Ukrainian borders is directly put in place to strengthen Ukraine, she said, noting that Russian authorities have also attempted to undermine the sovereignty of Ukraine through cyber attacks and other activities. No one is undermining Russia's security. That is simply not true, Trusus added and it is perfectly proper for sovereign nations such as Ukraine to defend themselves and to seek defensive alliance. 
CNN's Roland Kent, Uliana Pablopa, Joseph Ataman, and Camille Knight contributed to this report.